there's a lot of complexity in this series from the performances to the subject matter, the production design, even the old age makeup. Was there a moment where you felt like really challenged and were especially proud of a particular scene? Great question. <laughs> I would say, <laughs> I remember, um, I do remember, and I've spoken about it, is there was a, there was a moment when we have found ourselves filming the 70s episode. Mm -hmm. We filmed it within five days, so Monday to Friday. Mm -hmm. And I did step outside and I just was in a break and I just looked at Ron, who was our amazing showrunner, who was there every step of the way. And I just said, you know, I just, I, I, I don't know if I'm stitching this together properly. And, and he sort of generously said, you know, you don't need to worry about that, that's my job. There were moments of doubt, but then there were real moments, I think, that we instinctively me and Matt, I think, felt that we knew that they were cornerstones in this sort of beautiful, volatile and um, really complex love story. And so when we felt that we'd got those, it, it, everything else was sort of just, the, the rest of the space was filled out, I think. Yeah. It's so daunting to think about playing a character over the course of four decades and having to span that amount of time in someone's life and you're doing all the typical actor things and studying people that age and it's particularly challenging when it's all through kind of middle age you can't mm -hmm. affect a limp and a a, mm. a a hunch or anything like that so but then it's moments like that where you really rely on the incredible creatives we had on the show a brilliant hair department brilliant makeup department costumes the production design where all of a sudden you saw yourself in the mirror and you had a renewed sense of okay I can I can give this a go. The scene that really stands out for me, actually, of all the intimate scenes, is the one where you're slow dancing in the nude because it's so oddly sweet at the same yeah. time. Oh, I think that was probably the most profoundly intimate love scene that there was because it it, it was what it was. It was naked and face to face and connected and intimate and sweet, and there was a comfortability that you can't fake between the characters it ha it's earned at that point in in their relationship and uh, they're like otters at that moment just linked sort of floating and yeah uh, their yeah. their pond but also what's amazing about tim and hawk is that that's that comes off the back of an extraordinary exploration of power dynamic yeah, yeah. before then yeah. and so they they have to fight you know these gay men have to fight through the brutalities and the nuances and complexities of power to be able to reach those moments where they can be completely authentic together. Yeah. It was, I'm glad you picked that out because that for me yeah. felt a really special moment to film, but also in that moment, I do remember going, God, me and Matt have come so far to be able to do this <laughs> yeah. and for it to feel as yeah. relaxed and as, as kind. It felt like a kind, yeah. joyful moment. And looking at the finale specifically, there's a beautiful scene where Tim is looking at Jackson in the hospital as a newborn and he starts crying. Jonathan, what did that moment represent for him in your God, mind? I'm going to well up. Yeah, no, I, I almost... <laughs> did you feel it? Yeah, I just did. Oh, yeah. Sorry, that was a bit of a curveful. I don't think I've grieved it enough. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Um, I think it's, an, you know, I, there's so much going on there for Tim, but it was the understanding of new life and that the innocence of that baby i think for tim mm. maybe i don't know maybe he realizes in that moment how corrupted he is or that he's lost i don't know there's something really um special about that and also i think understanding the new life that has come from hawk the commitment that Hawk has made to his life and that Tim realizes in that moment he absolutely has no place in his life. But also, you know, Hawk has, has done something to him that is, well, we think he will never be able to move on from. The innocence of new life to me feels so important because we're, it's a study of how oppressive structures corrupt people mm -hmm. and, you know, push them further away from their, their joy and their happiness and their mm -hmm. identity. Um, so, th yeah, the inc the welcoming of Jackson at that moment is just, I think, an amazing bit of storytelling. Yeah. yeah. Matt, You've got all the also... right moments. You responded really well yeah. to it. <laughs> well, Matt, there's also a great scene for Hawk at the very end with his daughter at the AIDS quilt memorial. He wasn't my friend. He was the man I loved. Why was that the right moment to end the series on? That scene getting to be amongst real pieces of the quilt, getting to look down at Roy Cohn's real square. That's one of the most profoundly trans 
transportive things I've ever experienced in my life. And this whole project for me has always, uh, as every project should feel as an actor, been so much bigger than any one person involved or this, even the sum of the people involved. It's even bigger than that. And that was one of those moments where I thought, I just have to get out of my own way here and 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 be a part of this story. And I don't know why it was the right way for his journey to end, but I think it is the culmination of so many things for him. It, you see what all the compartmentalization and what all the bifurcation cost him and his life all in that one scene, his one true, all-consuming love beyond measure. Mm. And you see what's left for him. He just doesn't have a marriage. He doesn't have, he has his daughter, thank God, she's hung on to him and stood by his side, but his love is gone. And here he is a man just realizing who he is. He's a baby in some ways in his, you know, mid sixties, 63 or so. And it's, he's 64, he's only just beginning.